Hey everyone, welcome again on Davis Tag. And in this video, we are going to work on the landing page of the WhatsApp clone. So before I will start coding, I wanted to say that please subscribe the Davis Tag channel so I can achieve the 3K subscriber count goal. Please share the video. Please share the channel to your friend. Help me to grow this channel. Okay, and let's start the coding. So let's start the coding. What I'm going to do that I'm going to create a new folder called new screen because I wanted to separate the code inside the new screen. What I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new file landing screen dot dot and here we are going to write the code. So let me first import the material dot dot package and let me create a stateless widget for it and let me name it as a landing screen and instead of the container let's return a empty scaffold and let's use it on a main dot dot file instead of the login screen let me use the landing screen okay and hit the save and let us start the coding before you will start the coding inside the asset folder please use this bg.png file this bg.png file you will get on the description click on a link and download this bg.png file and inside the landing screen let's start the coding so the first thing we have to do that we have to add the body of this scaffold which will be a container and in a container what we have to do that we have to specify the height media query dot of context dot size dot height also specify the width so width will be the same media query dot of constraint dot width after specifying it we have to use the child and inside the child I'm going to use the column and uh, inside the column let's add the text so the first text is oh not like this we have to specify the children as well the first children will be text welcome to whatsapp and hit the save and let's style the style also text style before i will add the text style let me wrap this column widget to the safe area widget because you can see that welcome to whatsapp is adding inside the notification bar so i will add the safe area widget and after adding the safe area widget what i'm going to do i also add some padding between these takes using size box height 50 and let's use this style so in the style what i'm going to do that i'm going to use the color property and it will be color dot till I always do a mistake I use capital O and after the color property let me add the phone size the phone size will be 29 and font weight also we have to add it will be a font weight dot the blue 600 okay and let me the save and see how it will look like so now the welcome to whatsapp is completed the second thing we have to do is that after the text widget we have to add some padding between the image which we are going to use like it will be a padding like using the media query only height and the media query dot op context because i wanted to use a media query because if i will set a static height then it will not going to suit on a different uh, 
devices so that's why i'm adding the media query so it will be a kind of responsive okay after adding the padding between the text and i had to add the image dot asset because we will need a background image of this page which will be a assets dot bg dot png which i already told you to download it and remember we already defined this asset folder in a prospect.yaml file that's why we can use this image here so always after adding the image here expose that asset folder here in a prospect.yaml file to use the image now in a landing screen we added the image but we have to specify this image a color as well so if you go on a, a whatsapp then you will find that image color is not looking like this i mean the color of the image is different so we have to use the colors dot green ascent and this color will be 700 value and if i will hit the save then you will find that now it is looking like the whatsapp background image now also we have to restrict the height and width of this image so let me provide the height of this image like 340 and also width of this image like 340 and hit the save now it is perfect now we left two things the second last thing is we have to add a text where we have to write whatsapp terms and condition i mean agree that whatsapp terms and condition remember on that text you will find two different color okay so using the text widget we cannot achieve in a single line two different color so we have another widget called rich text so we are going to use the rich text for achieving two different color in a single line text okay so before i will add that rich text widget let me first add a padding again like we have here so just after this image dot asset i'm going to add the padding and please you are according to your need you can um, tweak on this padding uh, okay so after adding this padding i'm using to use the rich text so in a rich text just see that how we can use the rich text widget here so in the rich text widget always we have to provide this text thing like if you delete this text parameter then automatically it will give the error so in a rich text we have a parameter called text so in the text parameter we have to use the text span widget okay so in the text span widget we have three things the first thing i'm going to use is style so I'm going to use the text style so this will gonna be a default style for our text okay so you will get to know once I will add the text here so first let me define the style the default style will be the color colors dot black okay and the second style will be a phone size that will be a 17 and after this style parameter we have another parameter called children okay so so the children will take text span again we can use this text span widget and in the single text we can define two different style so i will do it just see how i can do it so i'm adding another text span where inside the text span which is the third parameter we have is text so here i not use the text widget i only use the style and the children widget but inside the children i mean the new text span i'm going to use i'm going to use this text widget the first text is the agree and continue to accept the 
after that the second text span will come okay so the second text span will come and the last text is whatsapp terms and no terms of service and privacy policy okay so if i will hit the save then you will find that within a single line all the text came so let me add some padding i mean between this agree and continue okay so now we have to add a color the first text will be a black color only but the second text have a different color so remember just after the text parameter we have a second parameter as well which is a style parameter okay so here we are going to define a style that is a text style and we are going to use a different color here okay we are have to use inside the text span only and what will be the color the color will be colors dot cyan and hit the save and see the changes so the color is applied on the second text span the first text span have a black color we can also change the color of the first text span like if i will add the style parameter text style and if i will add the color so let me use the different color here normally if you look then you will find that it look like the gray color only so i'm going to use the gray color with different variant okay so if you see the rich text then you will get to know that the rich text have a default parameter called text i use the text span so here we have the style parameter on a text span that will be a default style for the children text spans okay so i said the font size 17 that's why the children text span also have the font size 17 okay but i also have to add some padding between the left and right that's why i'm going to wrap this rich text widget to the padding widget and inside the padding what i'm going to do i'm going to provide some padding between left and right that's why i'm going to use the symmetric padding and i will set the horizontal edge 20 now it's perfect the last thing we have to add here is we have to add the alignment also so let me use the alignment that will be a text align dot center okay i'll hit the save okay now it is perfect after that the last thing we have to add is the button so let's work on the button so just after this padding widget we are going to work on the button widget where we have agree and continue text so always to use a button what we do that we use the container widget and in the container widget i have to provide the height and width of the container so the width of the container with help of the media query dot size dot width and i will do the 1 minus 10 because i also had some padding between this left and right that's why i reduced the size of the width of the container and let me provide the height of the container to 50 and let's use the child always we have to use the child as a text but before adding the text 
we also have to wrap this text widget to the center widget so the text will be in the center of the container so let me add the text so what will be the text it is the agree all all the thing will be caps agree and continue okay so if i will hit the save then you will find the agree and continue but i mean container is added but we have to set the container color okay so let me wrap this center widget to another widget called card to add some elevation so i will add the card here because i wanted to add some elevation and i will set the margin of the card because margin of the card i don't need it dot all zero and i will increase the elevation of the card and i will add the color of the card to colors dot green ascent 800 then i will hit the save also i will going to add some padding between these size box height 20 and you can see that the color is not added here oh because i gave the wrong number here i had to use the 700 then only it will add okay now let's work on the this styling of this text style text style and let me add the color to colors dot white and also i had to add the font weight to font weight dot weight 700 or 600 will be fine the last thing I have to add the phone size will be 18 and I will hit the save yeah now it's perfect it is looking like the whatsapp I can reduce the padding between this image and this text to 7 or 8 or else 9 it's up to you okay now it is looking like the whatsapp one so the last thing we can do is we can i mean we have to wrap this container to a inkwell widget so this container will become a button inkwell and here we have the on tab and in the on tab we can perform the navigation from this landing screen to the login screen so we will do that thing in the next video till that don't forget to like the video don't forget to share the video to your friend also subscribe this channel and tell your friend to subscribe this channel as well to make the 3000 goal complete Thank you all. Happy coding. See you on our next video.